start out? You want to start? I'll start. Uh, or we can continue with the music. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare, episode 18. I'm one of your hosts, James Walter, and with me is Speedy Gonzalez, Chris Garcia. What's up, everybody? Arriba. Is that offensive? Yeah, it is right now. I, I got a speeding ticket going 67 and a 55 on the way over here. That's pretty fast. Yeah, I'm, oh well. I'm surprised you didn't outrun him. In my car? Oh, that's right. Yeah. You're not driving the Camaro I'm anymore. Camaro anymore. Not that I endorse running away from the police, because <laughs> that's bad. You shouldn't do that. But you also shouldn't be breaking the law. So. True. You know. I didn't know the speed. There so, was no speed limit. The speed limit on that road is really weird, because it doesn't look like it should be 55. But it is. So then you're like, oh, sweet. And then you're like, next thing you know, you're like, I'm going 70. You're going down a hill. And it's just. It's a very strange road. It is. I, I didn't even know where I was going because. The road's was, closed. Was so you had to like detour around yeah. this back road. It's a mess. But we're all here. We're all safe. You guys are all safe. So we're going to get started. Hopefully this week the audio will come out nice and clear. And I don't have to do any post editing. That will give strange effects trying to get the fan noise to go away. Also, we hit record the first time this week, so we want to start over. So that's good. So let's go ahead and jump right on into the stories because we... Well, actually, we don't have a lot to talk about this week. No, but... But we, we want to get right into it definitely. and get to the, the second half of the show. Well, these are all your stories, correct? Yes, this week's going to be very tech-heavy because that's just the way it is sometimes. So, Chris, you ever talk to a robot on the phone? Yeah. Kind of annoying. Yeah, it really is. How about you ever talk to a person on the phone? Yes, I'd rather just press How zero. annoying is that? I'd rather press zero. You get that person on the phone, you get terrible customer service, and then they're, you're angry, and they don't know why you're angry. I always wonder if people think about that when they talk to me. Right. But do people get angry when they're on the phone with you? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes? Okay. Well, I got good news. There's this company in New Zealand called Touchpoint Group. And they're building what they're saying will be the robot that will be the worst of us. It'll be angry all the time. Angrier than a motorist trying to tolerate another cyclist who goes straight through a stop sign. <laughs> Angrier than Kanye when he sees a, a, a paparazzi, paparazzi. I think they spelled that wrong. And yes, angrier than any Comcast customer that ever lived. I think they meant paparazzi, but I don't know. Anyways, this... Um, Touchpoint Group is building an angry robot so that they can get a better understanding of why customer service makes people so angry. Is there any tests where we're going to start no, testing? No, they're just, they're just building it. Um, I, it's kind of hilarious. The article that we got this from points out how hilarious it is that uh, they need a robot to tell them why people get upset talking to customer service. Anyone who's ever talked to most customer service anywhere knows <laughs> how frustrating it can be at times. So no more. They're just going to build the, the world's angriest robot and help them figure out. I thought that's what like PR was for, like public relations, to try to right. find out those certain things. Also, why do we need to build a robot that is intentionally angry? Like, I think they need to go see Age of Ultron before they build this robot. Because, I mean, that robot was supposed to be nice. Spoiler. That's not a spoiler. Everyone knows that's what this plot is. Maybe not. It was in the trailer, though. I don't feel like that's a spoiler. No, definitely not. But yeah, come on. Building a robot that's intentionally angry. Okay, iRobot even. Did they see iRobot? I mean, iRobot's a great movie. It Those robots were supposed to be helpful, and they tried to... That movie came out in 2000... Yeah, five, five yeah. Something like that. And they tried to kill everyone. They tried to kill Will Smith. Anyone who tries to kill Will Smith is not cool. You know what I'm saying? I guess. I mean, he's the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. You don't just kill the Fresh Prince. Well, someone got in a fight. And... He was also Hancock, though. True. Which I heard they were going to make a sequel, and then it kind of just like went away. Yeah, I don't think they should make a sequel. I don't know. Anyways, um, let us know what you think about the world's angriest robot. Because I think it's kind of hilarious. And uh, CNET thinks it's kind of hilarious. What do you think, Chris? This can be a great thing or it could possibly just die out and they'll just use it for something else. What kind of rep, 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 rep now I can't talk because this angry robot has me so worried. What do you think the consequences of this robot are going to be? 
repercussions. Ah, well, got it. It doesn't have. I don't think it has like a a growing mind or artificial intelligence. So you think we'll be okay? Yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think it'll probably be used to uh, be in prison. It just it'll just so you start think, serving people in prison with So you attitude. think their customer service robot is going to become a prison guard? Yes. But eh, I guess that could work. He's angry, so he could just yell at the enemy. But what's he going to do? Robots can't hurt people. That's like the first law of robotics. Yeah. The second one is they have to obey people unless it breaks the first one. So would they obey the inmates? But that would go counter to what they were told to do by the owners of the prison. True. What's the third law of robotics? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Irrelevant to the story. We gotta, I gotta rewatch that movie. Uh, anyways, angry robots to help customer service in New Zealand. Uh, maybe they should just do like what most people do and do a customer survey. I don't think they're gonna have any problems. Or like in New record conversations of people and figure out, hey, you know, every time you tell them no and you ignore what they're actually asking you, they get really frustrated. Or like, you know, when you can't help them but you keep trying anyways because like, if you have to move them on to the next service, then like it goes against your numbers or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You know, simple normal things that you could do instead of building an angry robot. Yeah. What can you do? Maybe they could take their money and uh, do this with it instead. Um, there's this app called Math Crunch. What does Math Crunch do? So, uh, it's a tutor <coughs> for math on your phone. So, you're in college still, right? Yes. Do you have I any actually, math classes left? I, I actually, the last two classes I need to take is PE and math. PE and math. So, what math is it? Quant no. Quantum literacy. Quantum literacy? Yes. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. I don't either. I, well, I had to take Calc 1, 2, and 3 in differential equations. And let me tell you what. In Calc 3, no, Calc 3. I think it was in Calculus 3 my professor told me that I should tutor. I don't know. Negative. I mean, I did get an A in the class, I guess. But, uh, yeah, she was like, you should tutor, you know, because you're pretty good at this. Mm -hmm. And they, they needed tutors. And I was like, I don't want to spend my time over in the tutor facility. This app. They already got three and a half million dollars in seed funding to expand their reach. Basically, um, you install this app on your phone, and then the students are charged minutes that they can purchase, or they can get minutes by referring their friends to use the app. So say like, uh, I'm on Math Crunch as a tutor, which I'm not, because I just don't have time to do that right now. Although it's interesting, and I'm going to think about looking into this, maybe like in the fall. But the point is, say I was on there and you needed help tutoring, so you would get on, and you would pay like uh, twelve minutes for thirty, twelve dollars for thirty minutes, twenty-two dollars for sixty minutes, or forty dollars for two hours. And can you do you have to use it like all the same time? Or for um, example, if I have twenty minutes of homework today, can I buy that today? And it then doesn't it specify, next? but the way that it it reads is like you buy like you have to use like thirty minutes at a time. Maybe it looks like okay, but it looks like if you buy you know one hundred twenty minutes, you're saving a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. Um. You save two dollars. You save two dollars for an hour, mm -hmm. and then you save four dollars from thirty minutes to buying two hours. So, I mean, you do save somewhere. So, I imagine it looks like you have to use them in thirty minute increments, though. Mm -hmm. um, but then you would get on there, and you would basically take a picture of the homework that you're working on, or the problem that you're trying to solve, or whatever. You would put them, upload them to the app, and then I'd be able to open them up on the app, and then we would start a chat, and I could basically talk you through how to solve the problems. Uh, this is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, math definitely is something that um, you can teach yourself, which I, I believe you can teach yourself anything if you really take the time and get the right books and whatever. But math is one of those things that's just so much easier if someone explains it to you. Yeah, um, I, I think so too. And basically all of engineering school was math, so engineering school especially is one of those things that's just very nice to go to school. But uh, this is cool because then you can just get on there. You don't have to. You don't have to go somewhere. Your tutor can just be available when, when they're available, so they can be like, hey, my hours are going to be from like 8 to 10 p.m., but they don't have to go anywhere. They can still stay home also, and they can just both sit there in the comfort of their home and talk through this problem, and uh, it's pretty cool. Um, it's a new platform, but they've already had 100,000 successful tutoring sessions, and like I said, they've already raised $3.5 million in funding from investors. Um, no one that I recognize, but I imagine they're all people that have to do with education, maybe. Um, it's still new, but they're working on different models, different structures, maybe thinking about added, adding different subjects to tutor, as well as like a plan to get unlimited minutes. 
Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Like mm -hmm. I said, I, I think math tutoring especially is really good for that platform. Do you think the uh, investors get free tutoring if they need it? They probably just get kickbacks once the app starts, starts making money. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure. They didn't say how the tutors are paid, um, how much of that the tutors get versus how much the app gets. Um, but when, like, say, like, you get me as a tutor and then we're done, you can go on there and then review. You can also rate me, which helps me get more students but then helps you because I think you get some referral minutes for doing that okay. as well as for referring your friends to use the app. So theoretically, a student could get free tutoring just for referring friends and giving good ratings or any ratings really. I guess I don't have to be good. Are you going to help me with math? Am I going to help you with math? Well, if it's quantum literacy, I don't even know what that means. But if I can, sure. Stats? Oh, stats. I, you know, stats is kind of boring, but I could help you. Yeah. I didn't have to take a stats class. I just had to take a stats lab, hmm. which was kind of weird. Now they have to take like an actual class for stats, but my class didn't have to. We just had to take a lab that we did experiments mm -hmm. and then basically the numerical analysis on the results. Uh, very boring. I bet. Um, but then again, the class would be boring. But like this is great for like algebra. I could do algebra with these. I mean, they have calculus as an option, geometry, which I would not want to help people with geometry because mm -hmm. I... I didn't take geometry. I skipped it, took pre-calc instead. Oof. Because apparently, um, you don't have to actually take geometry, you just have to have enough math credits. And so I didn't take geometry. Yeah. Alright. I don't know if that's like a good thing to say, but I didn't. I took trig, and uh, that's really hard without geometry. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's basically all geometry. But I was better at trig than I was at, ever at geometry. So... Anyways, but I could, all the other stuff, I could, I wouldn't really want to tutor calculus over the app just because uh, those problems get very long. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would feel bad being like 30 minutes back, well, uh, time's up, but we kind of haven't even finished this one problem yet. Because some of those problems get really long okay. and they're trying to explain it to someone. But the point remains, this is a really good idea and uh, I'd be very interested to see them add other subjects. Um, you could do... Um, you could upload Word documents and have tutors English. actually do English stuff with you. Uh, English, science yeah. you could do would basically be exactly the same as math. Any, at least any calculus-based sciences. Mm -hmm. So physics, chemistry, stuff like that. Um, I mean, you could do other sciences. Really, you could do anything, but I see why math specifically works so well. Because it is working through problems. Have you seen the app? Um, <clears throat> let's see, I have it in my phone. Uh, Photo Math? No, I haven't. I'm going to have to show you this after the show. Um, but if you have something math or in here or something like that, you basically just st stick it over the problem mm -hmm. and it will solve it for you. Really? I will show you this after the I show. Or on break. I have to see this. I've not seen this app before. <clears throat> All right, speaking of break, we're going to take the break right now. Okay. 13 minutes into the show. And we're going to come back. We're going to talk about jetpacks. We're going to finally have some more Amiibo stuff to talk about. And then... What was the other thing? We were going to talk about some movies. Oh, some movies. Some um, movies we're going to try and avoid the spoilers. We might have to record some of it post-show and put it online just as like a separate thing. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to spoil movies that just have recently come out. Definitely. But we still want to let you know what's going on in our world. Since you do spend time with us, we want you to feel like you know us. And we want to know you, so send us your feedback. Anyways, we're going to take a quick break, and don't go away because we'll be right back. 